Fazilikazi Kamashoban, also known as Mzilikazi Kumalo, was born in present-day KwaZulu-Natal to Mashoban Kamangetha, chief of the Kumalo clan. He quickly rose through the ranks of the Zulu army, becoming one of Shaka's trusted commanders. However, tensions and conflicts with Shaka led Mzilikazi and his followers to leave the Zulu kingdom in the early 1820s. They embarked on a challenging journey called the Mfekan, marked by widespread warfare and displacement in southern Africa. Mzilikazi's group, known as the Matabela, eventually settled in what is now Zimbabwe, where his leadership was vital in establishing the Ndebele Kingdom. Their arrival brought about tensions and conflicts over land and resources. Mzilikazi encountered several Shona-speaking tribes, including the Rodzvi, the Manika, the Karanga, and the Ndau. Drawing on his military experience under Shaka, Mzilikazi built a powerful army that defended the Ndebele territory. While the Ndebele eventually established their kingdom and exerted control over certain areas, the influence and cultural identity of the Shona people remained resilient. In the 1830s, the Great Trek occurred in southern Africa. The Boer Vortrekkers migrated from the Cape Colony in search of independence and new lands, driven by discontent with British rule and conflicts with African tribes. As the Vortrekkers moved inland, they encountered the Endebele Kingdom led by Mzilikazi, resulting in tensions and conflicts over land and resources. While Mzilikazi and the Endebele initially had military successes against the Vortrekkers, the conflicts persisted. Eventually, a stalemate was reached, leading to the signing of the Sand River Convention in 1837. This treaty recognized the Vortrekkers' independence in their newly established territories. Mzilikazi passed away in 1868, and his son Lobengula succeeded him as the Ndebele king. The Ndebele kingdom was later conquered by the British in 1893, but the Ndebele people have maintained their cultural identity and traditions to this day. Mzilikazi's legacy is significant in the history of southern Africa. His migration and the establishment of the Ndebele kingdom had far-reaching effects on the political and social landscape of the region. The Ndebele people, as descendants of Mzilikazi, continue to preserve their cultural heritage and traditions. If you'd like to know more about Shaka Zulu, check out our full video of his rise to prominence, as well as our video on the Rain Queen of the Balabedu people regarding their encounters 